Would you stand and be straight with me? Cause darling, without you All the shine of a thousand spotlights All the stars we steal from the night sky Will never be enough So we have one, one lady. Okay, so we have you in between two guys. All right. So can we get a second microphone, please? And um, so we have two guys and one lady to clear, take us through the toast. Please, can you charge your glasses? Everyone here wants to let you know that we will be with you every step of the way in this marriage. We're just not here to celebrate with you. We're going to be with you during the hard times. So in the harder days, you can turn towards us and we'll be there. I want to tell you thank you for being a friend, a brother, a cousin, a son, and hopefully a father soon. And we want to welcome Aoni to the family. And I remember Chuka telling me when he spoke about Aoni, this kind of angel into his life. So Aoni, thank you for finding our family worthy. And thank you for being with us. And we promise you that even in the harder days, you can turn towards us, not just your family. We're going to be here for you, and we all love you, and we're going to celebrate with you guys for the rest of the night. And I want everyone here to raise their glasses. I want everyone here to raise their glasses. Remember that way too, is it your wedding? <laughs> because you're just about doing, we love you, we love you. There are two other people here that we raise glasses. Let me tell you something. In my family. In your family? We are very close. Okay, so if it's Chuka's wedding, it's all of us' his wedding. Okay, yeah. okay, so it's not our wife. It's all of us, yeah. My yeah. brother, you have done your own speech, eh? Can this guy not marry his own wife? It's our... Let's have you, sir. So my name is uh, Odi. Um, I can go. <laughs> so I'm good friends with the family. And Chuka, I want to thank you for the honor. I know you have a lot of able young men, and then you chose me to be a best man. We were roommates uh, while he was in college, initially with um, Innocent. Then when Innocent was graduating, Chukuka came along. And uh, my little brother's name is Chukuka. So Chukuka is Chukuka Senior. 
and Chuka Jr. was my little uh, my little younger brother. Anyways, uh, I have a quick story to tell instead of to lighten up the mood. Um, when Innocent and I were living together, I thought I wanted to be a lawyer. So every time, before I met Innocent, I want to be a lawyer. I used to watch all these TV shows, I wanted to be a lawyer. And I moved to Innocent, and that was the end. <laughs> I lost every argument, and I realized that maybe going to medicine was my future path. <laughs> Thanks, Innocent. And one thing that used to happen all the time was, we would study, Innocent would study forever. He taught me how to study, by the way. Because before that, I thought I had to study, but I met Innocent. So, Innocent will study, he will cook some food, we'll go, we'll go out, we'll come back. Guys will come to the house and eat all the we food. Know. Right? We're not the two year you. Can you hear me? Speak with you, my brother. You be poor boy. I beg. Thank you, but I can speak. So we'll go out and cook, right? And then um, the guys will come to our house, eat up all the food. So when Chuka came, the same pattern continued. Catch, catch is in here. Catch, raise your hand up, because he's eating all the big meat. The Michigan crew. So one day, Chuka just had enough of it. He doesn't, you know, Chuka doesn't complain. That was, it was so easy to live with him. So what he did was, he cooked some rice with some big, big meat, right? He went and got bad luck, and bad luck the pot, and put it inside the fridge. So, so when we came home, we wanted to eat, we had to go back for the key. But um, it was easy living with you, and uh, I know the journey you've gone through with her. I know you're a beautiful, bright young woman, and I see a great future with both of you. I'm thankful that you guys gave me the opportunity to share this moment with y'all. Cheers. Uh, best man, best man, best man. The chief has made you have is already married. When you, was, you, you are not married, you are just speaking English. Dick, like, go on, would die. Go on, he even said thank you to the chief for taking you as best man. He didn't do you a favor. He doesn't look for who looks like houseboy. Where? Among all his friends. <laughs> and he chose you. Go and marry this year. This year must not pass you by in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. I'm close to 50. I'm still speaking for them here. My sister, do this thing. Be, be careful the friends you keep. Oh. If he doesn't bring anybody, we lose him. Uh -huh. Are we okay now? Uh, as we keep for them. Stop, stop it, John. <laughs> yes, let's have you. Do you understand pigeon English? No. You're the air pigeon. The air pigeon. <laughs> you can use the microphone. I said you're the air pigeon. You're the air pigeon. Do I speak pigeon English? Oh, you would the hair talk. Okay. okay. <laughs> now you say the air. Okay. okay, just do the thing quick. Okay. Uh. Hi, everyone. I am Amy. I'm, You're what? I'm, my name is Amy. Amy, okay. Let's, let's laugh for her. Come on, she came from India. Oh, I came God. from the US. US. Oh, you came from the US. Come you have confused me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, because before I thought I'm the one that will help you. Now you're the one that will help you. Are you from America? I'm from you came from there. Ah, my sister, you are the one that will help yeah. you. Okay, you were born there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you are Indian, but you're born in America. Yeah. You have two powerful passports. You're harassing, you don't need my own. Her. You're harassing her. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. She doesn't need my own. <laughs> okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Amy. Annalie is not only my best friend, but the sister I never had. Chuka, you are one lucky man because she is officially off the market. You're not only lucky because she is beautiful on the on the outside, she's also beautiful on the on the inside Aww. with character traits that truly embody a Proverbs 31 woman. Annalie is loving, bold, intelligent, and confident. With, she's a confident woman with so so much to offer in a multitude of ways. Her boldness really sticks out because I have personally witnessed many doors that open due to her courage to ask for that door to open. So I am sure the opportunities for your family to grow will continue to expand due to Annalie being in your life. <laughs> I should probably cut this short. <laughs> no, go on, go on, keep go going, on. Keep going, we can hear you, keep going. I don't hear you. Keep going, keep going. Um, so my, my brief interactions with Chuka um, with, have left a last, lasting impression of a calm, intelligent, and hardworking man. I'm sure you're all of that and more for someone as picky as Annalie to marry you. <laughs> um, they say that there are some people that you meet where you instantly connect and feel that you know them, uh, know this person all your life. My bond with Annalie was like that because the minute we met almost 10 years ago, we instantly connected, we're inseparable. Can we listen to her, please? 
Carry on, carry on, Amy. We work together, travel together, party together, laugh together, cry together, live together, and more importantly, pray together. What is more unique about our friendship is that we were we motivate each other to work tirelessly, tire, tirelessly at the young ages of 22 and 23. Not so many friends can really push you to achieve your dreams, like Annalie did for me. Our, our friendship made things happen. Our conversations led to working with the local New York mayor, which led to the inception of a health initiative to address the alarming rates of diabetes and young adults in the pockets of poverty in Nassau County, New York. This also led to meet, uh, this also led us to meet mayors across the United States. Amongst all of our work developing in the US and we always had a heart for Nigeria. So one day she asked me to come with her and co-organize a medical outreach in Nigeria and I said yes. <laughs> And this eventually led us to present at the UNESCO First Ladies Summit, which nine First Ladies of Africa, including the former First Ladies of Nigeria and Ghana, were present. So it's very evident that this is someone that has impacted my life in such a great and unique way. And throughout this way process, I have seen that also there are so many women that Annalie has truly impacted as well. Like iron sharpening iron, our friendship has led us to continually grow in mutually, mutual respect and develop a strong bond as sisters. I know this is so long, but okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> never finish. regardless of if we're living continents away, our bond will last a lifetime. For that, I'm grateful. And you can always depend on me to be honest, true, and loyal. And Annalie, I know I can also depend on you to, to, to do that as well. So now we're here. To, <laughs> <laughs> We're here sitting to witness and celebrate the coming together of Annalie and Chuka, a combination of years of prayers that are being answered today. Um, so as a newlywed of one year and a half myself, I, I have some advice for you both. So choose to love each other even in moments when you struggle to like each other. Love is a commitment, not a feeling. Make time together a priority. Budget for a consistent date night. Time is the currency of relationships, so consistently investing time to your marriage is key. Also, in every argument, remember that Annalie is always correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, make laughter the, the soundtrack of your marriage. Share moments of joy, and even the hard times, find reasons to laugh. Congratulations to a lifetime of a blessed marriage. Chuck and Annalie, I love you both. Aww. Can we put our hands together for her, ladies and gentlemen? We flew this speech in from America through India. You have a glass? Can you just hold the glass? She not get it. To long life. This is to happiness. This is to success. And this is to being the best friends to each other. And I pray we're here in the next few years to celebrate with you. Maybe promotion, maybe kids, and just more success. I wish you all the best. And on behalf of everyone in this room, we love you. Aww. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, all those hippie people know they again. I know you come again. Oh, I don't change them. Okay, just cheers. Oh, cheers, cheers. I've changed it, I didn't.